So I finally got around to mounting the base shaker onto my uh, noob tube, the holder for the Vive controllers. It works pretty well. I was a bit annoyed at first because it wasn't that uh, it wasn't that bassy. It didn't vibrate as much as I'd hoped. Um, but I later found out this was a good thing. So this was the first edition, and I mounted it onto the stock in that configuration, and it was quite heavy, and uh, the feedback wasn't as good as I I wanted in that position. This was the second version, now I, th I thought, well I'll take off the heavy stock and I'll uh, put it underneath that first controller. And this is where I first discovered that uh, the vibrations really affect the controllers quite badly. Uh, it makes them jitter and lose position, so uh, a, lot of, a lot of vibration is a really bad idea with these controllers. Uh, how they're going to get around that in future I've got no idea, because the, the, the lighthouses hate it when those little sensors jump around. Uh, I was quite regularly getting the little controller floating away from my face um, in-game, it just it didn't like it at all. So I scrapped that idea. And this is my final version. I mounted the base shaker right at the back, and you basically put it right into your shoulder, and it's just quite comfortable. It's just like a little uh, a disc shape, and I managed to mould the housing a little bit so it's not digging into your shoulder. Uh, it fits in nicely, and you get the you get the feedback right into your shoulder. Then, and your brain is a bit strange because when you when you feel when you hear it in your head, and you've, you're holding the gun and you're firing. Even though the, it's not a massive kick like I hoped, it's that, that vibration, that kick as, as you're firing, even though it's quite faint, um, when it's kicking at the right time, when, you, when you're pulling the trigger in here and the bang, your brain fills in the rest, so it's, it really is like firing a, really ro a real rifle with it. So I'm quite pleased with the way it's worked out. Okay, you, here you can see the rifle, you can hopefully hear it vibrating there on the ground. Uh, you can't feel it, you can't hear it as much when it's on my shoulder, but when it's on the ground, obviously you can see the you can hear it yeah, vibrating against the wooden floor. You can't. It's not. It's not jumping around all over the place because I've turned it down a little bit on the amp, uh, and also you don't want to pick up a lot of background noise. A bit of feedback is actually quite good. I, I tried to single it out and just have the one, you know, just your own rifle firing, which is quite hard to do. Uh, I'm still working on that, by the way, so I'm going to try and do that. But actually, um, when you hear like an explosion go off or uh, somebody else firing quite close, it's actually okay. You're getting a bit of feedback through your hands anyway, uh, so it's not the end of the world that you feel a little bit of uh, sensation when, s when there's a lot going on. Okay, I'm demoing now in Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades with the fantastic update with the uh, MK18, which is a beautiful rifle. It feels a lot like my uh, 1522. I say that every time, but this one really does now with the base shaker because with that light amount of kick, it feels just like my 22. It's beautiful. Okay, you won't hear it vibrate quite so much because it's into my shoulder. Uh, but you can adjust it with the with the amp uh, to vibrate as much as you want, but you want to avoid excess uh, environmental feedback off the amp, so you you find a kind of sweet spot for it. Uh, I'd only recommend these base shakers for anyone that's reasonably confident, a PC user who will know how to plug it into the sound card. It's um, it's not overly difficult to set up, but there is a bit of messing around, so you've got to be quite keen. Uh, I'd, I'd say you've got to be quite keen gun enthusiast anyway to uh, to go to this level for feedback. And it works off the sound effects in any game, so you can plug it up to anything really, and you'll get that feedback. Um, you, I'd, the, the amp is going to be purchased separately, I'm not going to sell it with it. Uh, I'm going to sell it with the bass shaker attached, and then you'll have to purchase your own amp. This is just a Lappy amp, and it's about $20 from Amazon, so they're cheap, cheap to buy. But it just that's just too heavy to ship as well. It puts the postage through the roof, so I'm not gonna do that. There's gonna be another batch of tan available on eBay. Uh, this is sold with or without the base shaker. It's a little bit cheaper without the base shaker. The units are a bit more expensive than the previous ones, and that'll continue to be the case. If I build another tan after this, the price may go up again. There's a lot of time went into the last one. Um, I, I, the last tan it was a good learning curve for me, and I got them all out on time and they were all shipped. Now this feels like the whole package now, I can't see me going anywhere else with this now. It's got all the feedback and all the um, functions that I wanted, so I think this is the end of the line.